making this short little video, or hopefully short little video, um, for two things. Um, first, uh, my well, the place I was working at, Plains Airsoft Arena, um, closed down. That's a sad week for the airsoft community. Um, Mark tried his best to keep the thing going, and it just didn't work out. I wish him luck with all his future endeavors, uh, but the Plains Airsoft Arena, where I filmed some of my uh, videos and played and refed, um, is closed down. Second thing, um, I'm not talking about the grenade. I'm not talking about the pistol. I'm actually talking about these. And what they are is Valken has 8 gram. CO2 cartridges. Now, compared to a, a 12 gram, I went and got one. Um, they are much bigger. Okay, um, just so you can see that they are that much bigger than the 12 grams. Okay, so. When the arena closed down, Mark had some of these boxes of, and I think there's two, four, there's ten in a box. Well, let me just see here. There's six. There, well, might be more than that. Uh, you know, I'm actually going to open a new box just to see what was, how many is in there. Because it doesn't actually say on the box. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I thought there was 10, just to make sure. There's 10 of these 8 gram CO2, CO2 cartridges in the box. When he closed down for good, he had, and I'll show this, it's kind of hard to see in the video. I got 10, I'm right at the top of the video here, I'm sorry about that. I have, here I'll move them in. I have 10 boxes of CO2 cartridges, 8 gram CO2 cartridges. What to do? So, which brings me to what we have on the table here today. First let me explain what we got here. <clears throat> this is a Valken grenade shell that was cracked. Okay, had a little crack right here on the top. Otherwise, seems like it functions, but it was cracked and having some issues, not, this was being held up. As you can see now, it goes up and down, no problem. So I ground it off, put a little JB weld in it, we're good to go, the grenade works. Tested it with a 12, gra or 12 gram cartridge, it worked. So I said, what can I do to use the 8 gram cartridges? Now, I used to have a bunch of, uh, how do you say it, Hasaku, Hatsatsu, or whatever it was, the other, the original ones. I had a whole bunch of them, I sold them, because I have blank firing grenades. So when I got these, I, I got this, and I got the gram cartridges, it was a combination deal. I said, okay, what can I do to fix this? So the first thing I did, to fill it up, and I'll show you this too, I'll zoom in on this, is... I filled the cap up with some plastic rings that I had, filled it right up to the top, and then filled it up with hot glue. As you can see, there's a little hot glue on the top. And what that does, and I'll show you, when you normally put a CO2 cartridge in, it's right there. You can see it in the video. Okay, and you can see the end is not, the end is not sticking up here. So when I screw this in, there's a little bit of pressure on it. pin on the top here, which is hard, the pin on the top right here, as you can see, is pushed up, it's ready to go. So if I would hit this on there, it would puncture the CO2 and it would work. I found that it just didn't have enough pressure to go out and blow up 
it let out pressure, but it let it out very slow, very unpredictable, pain in the butt. So what I did is my normal mod on this. You go down basically an inch and a half from the top or an inch from the top of the, the silver right here, the line, and I put a hole in it. Now I used a, uh, I usually use a bigger bit, but I said I'm going to use a smaller bit because these cartridges are loose in there. So I put it in there, screwed on the flat shell, went off like a champ. Three and a half seconds, bang. The only difference being it wasn't as loud normally as a regular 12 gram cartridge. Still loud enough and it went off for three, three and a half seconds and all I did was pop the bottom here on the side of the wood throw it out and uh, throw it out on the driveway bang went off so we're going to test that I already tested it with this and I know it works with these I'm going to test it with this dumbbell shell it's the last shell I have that I found these two in the bottom of a box I had I don't have any other shell so this is going to be the test if it works with this fine if it doesn't I'm not going to be able to tell until uh, I get some more shells so we're going to go outside and test this after a second. The next thing that I wanted to do is I'm like, I have 100 cartridges. I don't have that many shells to test this on, but I do have a crap load of CO2 pistols. So what I was thinking about is using the CO2 in the pistols. Okay, now this is a C41 Crossman. Um, I didn't bring a mag down because I just want to test it with the CO2 grip slides open and this is one of my fixed ones that the pin went at the bottom here it, it tore right out so I actually got a, a, a wing nut and put in here so that I can close this it's a little tight and holds it shut and it's it's not blowback this moves back and forth but it isn't blowback so anyway okay as you can see if you put a 12 gram cartridge in here Loosen this up a little bit. Fits right in there, no problem. Okay. Now, a, a eight gram is really small, and you never would be able to put that pin all the way up there. But I took and cut off one of the expended cartridges I had to make it long enough for the CO2, so that when I put it in there, it's right at the bottom and it fills it up. And this, let me show you this, I'll take this out again so you guys can see that. Because the pin that's pushing up is rounded, it's hitting on the bottom of the bowl of the CO2. So by cutting this off a little longer, this CO2 sort of fits in there like a cap and it takes up the distance so that they are exactly the same length. So, and because this has a, a framework to put this in, let me put a little drop of Pelgon oil on here just to see if this is going to work. I'm going to leave it in. A little drop of Pelgon oil. Okay, now we're going to see how this tightens. Now, that, that's a problem. This uh, thing is a little wide. Okay, I'm not sure if that's in there or not, so let's, it's not, it didn't break it. For some reason, it might not be lining up. Let's try it a little tighter. Nope, it is not lining up. I'm going to stop the camera and scope it out. Okay, just wanted to tell you about this, what's going on. The 8 gram cartridges have a slightly bigger lip here than the 12 grams. It will not go into the pistols. Now that might be this particular pistol. I, I might want to try it on another pistol see if it'll work. But as it stands, this particular one, it doesn't work. So I might try another pistol just to see if it uh, will work with it. I'll, I, I'll grab another CO2 pistol and try it out in that and we'll try and film it see if it works. Okay, update, I tried three different pistols and the 8mm or 8 gram cartridge, I keep saying 8mm, 
8 gram cartridge is just the, the head of the cartridge is just way too big, the neck. Compared to here, you can see it's just that little bit, but that's just enough so it won't let it go into any of the seals. I tried it in magazines, I tried it directly in guns that have it in the grip. Um, so it's a no go on the uh, 8 millimeter. So this is the I guess the only thing we're going to be doing with it then is putting it in the grenades when I get the uh, particular shells. So I got 100, 100 shells for grenades if I want to use them. So we're going to go outside and do a test on the grenade real quick and just so I can show you that it works. Okay, here we are outside, uh, my favorite testing spot. I do have the grenade. I'm going to bang it against the side of the door here and throw it out in frame and hopefully it'll go off. I know the, the smooth ones go off but these dumbbell style uh, usually I put some BBs in them, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video here, this is the side it was broke that I ground off and put some JB Weld on. So we're going to bang it and throw it out in frame, and I'm going to try to count off how long it takes for it to go off. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost seven seconds. So it actually takes longer on the dumbbell ones than it does on the other one. I might need to put like a little strip on them. As you can see, I'll slow it down and put it in the video, um, how it expanded the bottom and then blew out. Here we are. I'm outside. I thought I'd show you this grenade. It puffed out really much on the bottom. <clears throat> so I might need to put a slit or something in these, but it went off. I'm going to check it on the video. I think almost seven seconds, six and a half. The other ones, the, the cylinder types, went off at like three and a half to four seconds. I don't have any of the pineapple ones to test, but hopefully uh, I can get some more testing done with some other ones and try it. But this looks like it's about six to seven seconds, which is pretty good because you have to hit it, you're holding it, and you have to throw it. So that extra couple of seconds might help. Although, hit, 1,001, 1,002, two seconds to throw, four seconds to go off, four and a half seconds maybe. That actually be pretty good getting it into a building. Um, so those eight, eight gram cartridges are going to work out for me. Um, I'd like to thank Mark at what was the Plains Airsoft Arena for letting me have them. Um, it's going to be added to my arsenal once I finally uh, get some money to be able to pay for some shells. Uh, I might get some dumbbell shells. I might get some round ones. Maybe somebody wants to lend me some or give me some. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And this proves you can use 8 gram cartridges in here, which are cheaper than a 12 gram. All right. Have a good day. Set. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>